my parents are praying over me. That was going to be my question. Like, you know, you have a godly foundation. Grandfather's a preacher. Father's a preacher. Um, Where does their perspective, seeing that their son has took like a drastic turn from a good home, a godly foundation, like what is their perspective on all of this? Uh, I think they realized there was wasn't a whole lot they could do. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, as a as a parent now, I think about my son, and uh, <laughs> you know I don't. I I think to myself, I was like, man, if my son was doing that right now, I don't know what I'd do. I I don't know. I don't know how my parents, I don't know how they, I don't know how they kept their sanity. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now I see my mom cry at church. (laughs) I'd seen her pray at home. But I've never seen her cry over me. Mm. And uh, I remember a couple situations where they were trying to talk some sense into me. And <clears throat> they were trying to get me to realize what I was wasting, trying to get me to realize who I was, and who I am now, or who I would be. And and seeing them, thinking back, seeing them in those moments. And really, my, my, my father probably, he, he probably told you this. One of the times uh, an individual that just was with me, I came by the house to do something. I don't know what it was and just had somebody with me. And my dad. <laughs> my dad said, oh. Uh, he knew some of the people I ran with and he knew what we were up to. He knew what we did. Uh, but he told me, he said, son, he said, that guy right there, you need to be careful. Mm-hmm. And now to look at this dude way back, he's dead now. Uh, but way back, I mean, he had his tongue split down the middle, you know, like a snake mm-hmm. he had, he had sleeve, sleeve tats on or whatever, he had big gauges in his ears, he had his eyes blacked out from that, that, that whatever that ink they put in in your eyes. You know, he looked, he had that look, you know, he looked crazy. And it wasn't how he looked because I had some other crazy people around me. It wasn't just how he looked. It's my, my dad said, son, he said, there's something you need to watch that guy. And I don't even know why, because it was just a brief moment. It was nothing but God telling my dad. And if I were to listen, if I were to listen to a lot of those conversations, there's a lot of tears I would have saved. Yeah. Uh, that that individual, that same guy that, that my father warned me about, uh, he was the the man who turned federal evidence on me. Wow. Uh, he was.